Hey, it's Chris from the Blockade Pimple Podcast, uh, doing some gameplay videos of the top five table packs that I like to recommend to people when they are brand new to Pinball FX 3. Today we are doing pack number three in my ranking. We started with number five, then went to number four, and now we're at number three, midway through our listing here. And this pack, very debatable what I wanted to do on this, because... Truth be told, I only care for one table in this pack. I know other people that love the other two that are included with this, but I happen to only like one table that's in it. And I almost picked another pack, which was a single pack table. But I don't really enjoy the table that much, even though it perfectly encapsulates everything. So, long story short, this is Bethesda Pinball. And the table that I specifically like to play is Doom. Single player and now <laughs> it's a very demonic table as you can tell um, I'm Dr. Samuel Hayden. I'm the thing that facility. is odd about Doom is that the modes are not quick and easy you literally spend a lot of time on any particular mode um, there's a lot of build-up, but it's also still very traditional in pinball. So, uh, let's see. So you can choose your skill level, Hurt Me Plenty or a Nightmare. And uh, we're just going to go with the Hurt Me Plenty, because I don't need to be tortured. Yeah, start that timer, let's get going. So you can rotate the uh, pop bumpers up there with your flippers. I love the soundtrack on this table. And, uh, oh, I always forget which one do I like. To hell and back? I think it's to hell and back. Yep. So now I get to get to play a little, oops, little Arkanoid. With a mini, mini pinball. Nope. Is that it? I think I only got one more. And you gotta do this twice. Oh! I failed. And now you got these little, uh, I like to call them the cardboard stand-ups that pop up in the middle of the playfield. So you got to defeat them. You got this demon to the side that's hurtling things. You got to shoot. Kind of juggle the juggle the ball in these pop bumpers. I mean, I'm gonna have to figure that out, by the way. Low health. Oh, wonderful! That's what I want: low health in a pinball machine. Ah, I gotta hit that. Damn! I failed. <laughs> I suck. All right, let's try that again. Fell him back up here. Uh, it's usually one that I can actually beat, because I'd like to show you, for at least, you know, success one time. Show you what happens when a mode is completed. Nope, oh, nope. One more rune to hit. By the way, you can actually get these three packs for free on the mobile version. Uh, you just have to watch, you know, an ad or two now and then. But you can go ahead and play that way, which is rather nice. Oh. So if you fail the mode, that's when you got to then battle the demons. Other shoot there. There we go, we got that. 
Some armor popped up on the playfield, glowing green up there. Nope. This pretty much just feels, though, very much like a standard pinball game. I mean, there's all sorts of crazy going on, but the rule set is very much what you expect from a normal pinball game. Oh, so we completed enough that's going to let me... Ah. I was going to say it's going to let me finish the mode. The Sergeant Cell will give you strength, help you on your journey, if you withstand the power, sir. Alright, let's try something else. Let's say Lazarus Lab. Find your way through the portals, and I'll tell you more. Oh yeah, so these are like portals that pop the ball out in other locations. In case you're wondering what that other pack was that I was uh, debating between, it was actually portal. And just like what this is, I mean, come on, they, they really nailed the theme on this. Um, Portal does that too. They really, really did a great job of capturing the vibe of the game. Apologize for what's happened here. You could not have saved them anyway. There we go. That's Doom Pinball for you. Enter specimen name here. Now, just to show you, since we've got some time left, let's show you. Well, let's go to Fallout. Never changes. This would be my second choice of the three tables, just because I honestly don't understand Skyrim at all. So look at this. There's all sorts of, you know, create character, random character. I've never played Fallout, so a lot of this is lost on me. What um, nice. what the references are in the game. Um, seeing if there's a mission hole or something, I'm not quite remember. It's kind of a fun layout. I just don't know what's going on half the time. That was rather quick, huh? Yeah, okay. Uh, you know. Lock and load. Let's do this. You keep the nukes. All right, great. So, look, we can buy things, I guess. I don't have caps. I'm just clicking on anything. It doesn't look like I have enough to buy anything. Great. That's all. 
Brotherhood needs me. Nice. So, I take it there's another job? Alright. Oh. Looks like we finally get some mission holes lo loaded up and... you then so like I said it's pretty uh, it's a good layout I just it's not very self-evident what you need to be up. doing So, because of that reason, I don't find myself playing this particular one all that often. Minutemen have a job for me. game mocks you for not doing anything. <laughs> Let me show you real quick Skyrim. I won't be on this one long at all because... Wait. That's Fallout. I did the wrong thing. <laughs> Alright. Skyrim. Nice old dragon action going. Castles. This is a full on RPG where you can, you know, customize your character. And it winds up being a complaint that a lot of people have with this table that it feels very stop and go. Uh, because you're going to be dealing with those RPG elements. Buying, you know, menu system and stuff up on the DMD. If you're looking for RPG game that is not quite, uh... A new side quest is available. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, sure, we'll bet that. Why not? I don't know. I have no idea <laughs> what any of it means. Um, Epic Quest is a good table that uh, is much more friendly on the uh, RPG aspects. So now we so so a so, sword. Why not? So I've got all these things blinking. I would assume that if I can hit one of them. Stop blinking. <laughs> and I'll just ball out instead. That was wonderful. So, I mean, I shot the, the lane there. And things are still blinking. So, like I said, another one of those saves where I just really don't... Oh, I guess I gotta do spins or something? I don't know. The table confuses me. But that's okay. It can go ahead and confuse me. The point being, Doom is fantastic. <laughs> and you can't go really wrong with buying this pack just for that table alone. It's worth it. Um, the other two tables are kind of hit and miss whether you'd like them or not. But Doom is so good, that's why it comes in at number three on our list of top five tables packs that I wind up uh, recommending. Two people new to FX3, this is Bethesda Pinball. Next time, pack number two, what will it be? We'll find out. Until then, bye bye